A carjacking suspect accused of breaking into the wrong home. The woman who lived there says she did the only thing she could think of at the time, and that was sick her two dogs on him. Fox 35's Chris Lindsay joins us live with that story. So, Chris, it appears it worked. Yes, it did. I'm here behind Marie Gilbert's apartment, and that's the window she says Anthony Galloway dove through to get away from deputies and her dogs. You can still see some of the glass here on the ground. Before this standoff with deputies, investigators say Anthony Galloway had a different kind of standoff. And I'm like, girls, get him. They was laying right here where they are now. So they jumped in. Marie Gilbert had just come in from her morning coffee with her daughter when she thought she heard her son banging on the door. Right as I closed the door, that's when I... Mama, 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 help me. She says instead it was Galloway, a man she'd never met before. He entered with force, and then he closed the door behind him. Home alone, without a weapon in reach, Marie did the only thing she knew to do. She sicked her dogs on him. She says Roxy and Willow got a hold of Galloway, and he panicked. Ran here through the kitchen, and next thing we heard, we heard a crash. We had a, a big crash. She says Galloway dove through the kitchen window, shattering it and falling two stories to the ground. It could have went left. It could have went a different way. You know, even with the dogs being here, it could have went a different way. From there, deputies say he hid in the warehouse on the other side of the trees. And after an hours long standoff with deputies, he was arrested on several charges, including the burglary of Marie's apartment and armed carjacking, the alleged reason he was running in the first place. Well, I'm glad they was able to apprehend him so he won't continue to do this. Now, Gilbert wasn't injured, and as you saw, her window has been fixed. Galloway is being held without bond. Live in Daytona Beach, Chris Lindsay, Fox 35 News.